Welcome to our exam three workshop session. In this session, we're going to go through a long division problem. So in this problem, we're going to divide a massive polynomial divide by x squared plus one. Let me get my pen out. And we're going to start by putting x squared plus one on the outside. Now notice they skipped over the regular x term here. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert a zero x right there. And we're going to place on the inside this big polynomial. 3x to the 6th minus 2x to the 5th plus 2x to the 4th. Notice they skipped over the third power, so I'm going to say 0x to the third power plus x squared minus 2x plus 1. Our first step is going to be to divide the leading terms. So our leading terms are x squared and 3x to the 6th. So we take 3x to the 6th on top over x squared. That's going to give us 3x to the 4th power. You just take 6th power minus 2nd power gives you 4th power. Once we have that answer, we're going to multiply that answer by all three terms in the divisor. and we're gonna get three different answers. So we'll take three x to the fourth times x squared. That's three x to the sixth. Three x to the fourth times zero is of course zero. Three x to the fourth times one is three x to the fourth. Now, for all three of those answers, we're going to change the sign. So plus becomes minus, minus becomes plus. That will be on all three answers we just got. So we'll put a negative here, here, and here, and we'll just do the math. See, three minus three cancels. Negative two plus zero is the same thing, negative two x to the fifth. Then two minus three gives negative one x to the fourth. Then we bring down the next term, and then we're going to repeat the process. until we can't divide anymore. All right, so now we look at our new leading term. It's negative two x to the fifth, divide by x squared. Once again, we take fifth power minus second power. We'll have x to the third power with the negative two beside it. That will be our next piece of the answer. And we'll take that times all three of the terms on the left side. So negative 2x third times x squared gives negative 2x fifth. Negative 2x third times 0 is, of course, 0. Negative 2x third times 1 is negative 2x third. So now again, we change the sign on all of our answers. And we do the math. Negative 2 plus 2 cancels. Negative 1x to the fourth minus 0 is still negative 1x to the fourth. 0 plus 2 is 2x third, and we bring down our next term, which is x squared. Again, we look at our leading terms. We have negative 1x to the fourth. Divide by x squared. Well, 4 minus 2 gives x squared. With that negative 1, that's our next term. Negative 1x squared times x squared gives negative 1x fourth. Negative 1x squared times 0 is, predictably, 0. Negative 1x squared times 1 is negative 1x squared. Once again, change all the signs. So 1 minus 1 cancels. 2 plus 0 gives, again, 2x third. And then x squared plus 1x squared gives 2x squared. Bring down the next term. And we continue. Our new leading term is 2x to the third. Divide by x squared. Well, 2x third divided by x squared gives 2x. That's the next piece of our answer. We'll have 2x times x squared gives 2x third. 2x times 0 is, of course, 0. And 2x times 1 is 2x. Again, 
change all the signs. 2 subtract 2 cancels out. We'll have 2x squared, negative 2x, minus 2x gives negative 4x. You might be tempted to say 0, but it's not. It's negative 4x. And we bring down our final term, plus 1. So now, notice that our leading term is 2x squared and our divisor is x squared. Since they're the same power, that's the clue that tells you this is probably going to be our last operation. We'll now take 2x squared over x squared. The x squares just cancel, leaving us 2. So we'll have plus 2 on the end. Multiply that times all three of these terms. 2 times x squared gives 2x squared. 2 times 0, once again, gives 0. 2 times 1 gives 2. Change all of the signs. So you have 2 minus 2 again. Cancels out. Negative 4x minus 0 is negative 4x. And 1 minus 2 is minus 1. This term we get at the bottom is what we call the remainder. And all this stuff we got on the top of the bar there, I'll box that in. That is our quotient. So if they ask you for the quotient and remainder, that's what you look to. On the bottom is the remainder, on the top is the quotient. Thanks for watching. We'll have more review problems for you pretty soon here.